Wilson there? No. So far, I've been lucky. Mm. Wilson there? He just went with two fast. Mm. Have you seen that mug, Wilson? He just left. Is Wilson there? Yes, I said it ran out. Would you please keep him out of here? I just had to slap his face. Miss Jones, where the hell is Wilson? Yeah. Put this next to your typewriter. It'll remind you of me. Listen, beautiful. There's a swell picture at the Capitol tonight. Stick around, maybe I'll take you. Just a big-hearted guy. Say, someday I'll get to New York. And then, oh boy, will you be sorry you didn't get me. Say, that's a great song. Why don't you publish it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, if Tim Wilson's there, tell him the boy wants it. Okay. Listen, beautiful. You heard. Okay. Don't say I didn't give you your big opportunity. <sighs> Round one. Well, well. Well, well. Beautiful. There's a swell picture at the Capitol tonight. Stick around and maybe I'll take you. Yeah. What do you mean, stealing my stuff, huh? Oh, a woman's hand. Beautiful. A hand like this was meant to rule the world. I understand it has to rock the cradle first. Yeah, well, any time you feel like ruling the world, just let me know, will you? Damn, Scrape. Go try your stuff on the board. Ah. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Wilson. Could you spare me a few moments in the interest of the paper? Oh, Chief, I can't hide it from you any longer. Women are my weakness. I love them. I adore them. But the paper, the good old clarion, <laughs> shall have all my spare time. Attend to those, please. What else did they teach you at college besides wholesale necking? Oh, Chief, the facts of life and how. Oh. Get in there. For the salary I pay you, I could get a good reporter. Ah, uh, always kidding. Hey, boss? <laughs> well, Chief, what's up? Do you know old Rendleby, the art collector? That screwy old guy that collects curios? That's the man. Go and see him and get the story of the Asterville Venus. Is there a Venus in this burg? And I've been here all these weeks and didn't know it? Oh. <gasps> this one happens to be a painting. Oh. It's in the Van Aster home and has been since 1778. And now Miss Van Aster wants to sell it. Well, what's the jolly old setup? Oh, now be serious, Tim. Now get this. Now, this Venus is about the only celebrated thing in Asterville. Artists and connoisseurs from all over the world have been here to see it. Now, for the good of Asterville, I'm going to start a fund and buy it and hang it in the new library. We can't allow it to leave here. Well, isn't there anyone locally willing to buy it? She won't sell it to anybody locally. You recall the time she had those fox hunts and her horses and hounds ran all over their farms? Well, they didn't like it. So that settles that. But I have a little plan. The details of which I will divorce to you later. Okay, I'll get in touch with Reddleby. Get all the dope from him. Now, next to his daughter, he loves this painting better than anything else in the world. Oh. Now, you'll find him quite a character, and uh, he's the type of man you've got to watch out for. Uh, he used to be the curator in the Metropolitan Museum. Oh, okay, I'll handle him with care. Mm, and stay away from the ladies until I get some copy, will you? Oh, boss! When I'm on a job, the women haven't a chance with me. Not a chance. No, not much. <laughs> Not a chance, not a chance, oh, not a chance.
Are you there? I am sorry. Miss Van Astor cannot make a, a statement for publication. Thanks. That's all I wanted to know. Is this genuine? Absolutely. I think it will be a very valuable addition to your collection. I really can't afford it. The temptation seems so great. Mm. Personally, I think you're getting it very cheap. It's strange how some beautiful things are so utterly unappreciated. Now, you take this, for instance. Oh, it's Father, there's someone on the wire for you. I switched it to your phone. Oh, Margaret, tell me. Don't you think that's a beautiful thing? Yes, but I prefer modern things myself. <laughs> Straight lines, angles. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a, the man on the phone oh, waiting. Excuse me. Oh, is this Mr. Rendleby? What? Miss Van Ast is going to sell it? Why, no, I... Why, uh, certainly, certainly, I... Uh, you, you must excuse me, I... I'm a little upset, is it? Why, this is terrible news, I... Yes, yes, I'll expect you tonight. Goodbye. Well, what's the matter, darling? Well, something terrible is happening, I... I can hardly believe it. No bad news, I hope. Bad news? Worse than that. Miss Van Asta selling the Vestronelli painting to some impossible Dutch cheese manufacturer. Oh, good heavens, I thought it was something serious. You don't think it's serious? Well, not very. Oh, how can we expect these modern young people to feel as we do? Oh, there's no room for us in these days. We belong to the port in mahogany days. Oh, Father, aren't you a little obsessed by these things? Yes, I am. My heart is still in the old things. Gray buildings that I see being torn down one by one to make room for your squares and angles of concrete, the warmth and glow of old paintings, the charm of old china, the slender lines of chippen nails, things that the world has forgotten how to make. I still live in the remnants of the old colonial days. There I find peace. Perhaps if I'd seen the painting, I'd be impressed. Mm -hmm. What's its name? Its name, child? We call it the Astorville Venus. Venus. Best Trinelli's best work. Well, even a hundred thousand of my money is it worth? Yeah. Uh, you must understand, uh, Mr. Tanningberg, uh, this painting is worthy of any collection. It is world famous and will increase in value. Uh, Miss Van Astor was very moderate when she asked two hundred thousand dollars for it. Now listen, my dear. I have a house built in Amsterdam that's so beautiful and so big. Well, it would be an honor for your painting to hang in there. Someday you come to Amsterdam, yeah? Doesn't seem likely, Mr. Tannenberg. It's such a long way away. Ah, that's nothing. I might use your painting for a trademark for my cheeses. The Hugo Tannenberg cheeses. The Venus brand. Good, yeah? Huh? Yes, Mr. Tannenberg. I think that's a very good idea. I think she'd make a very nice trademark for cheeses. Sure. But uh, this is a masterpiece. And so is my cheese. Oh, <coughs> my Mr. Kane. You might take it to Tannenberg someplace and talk things over. Oh, very well. Uh, take it to Tannenberg to the stables, Mr. Kane. What do you mean, stables? That's where I keep my horses. Oh, horses? Hmm? I'm going to have one built in my house in Amsterdam, too. Hmm? You do that, Mr. Tannenberg, and I'll come to Amsterdam. If you come, I cut you one of the best pieces of my cheeses. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Fishkin. What is it? It's the groom, miss. Nonsense, Fishkin. I heard you myself. He says the roan has knocked a fetlock, Mary. Oh, oh, the roan. Oh. I'll come at once. Very good, Mary. Pardon me, could I... Could I have a word with you, Miss Van Astor? Oh, hello. Who are you? How did you get in? Well, I, uh, I'm a reporter from the Astorville Clarion. Oh. Oh, a reporter, are you? Yes. Well, um, couldn't you come some other time? Because I'm, I'm, I'm needed at the tables now. Oh. Well, don't you realize how important this picture is to the community? No, I do realize how very important my racing state was going to be to the community. Well, don't you think it would be patriotic to keep it here? No. I'm tired of tourists parading to the place. They mess up everything, and they frighten my horses. No, the Venus goes to the highest bidder. I see. And that's final. Absolutely. Well, I think it's only fair to tell you that my paper is going to start a publicity campaign to see that the Astorville Venus stays here. Listen to me, young man. Your pamphlet tipped Gladiator to win at Pimlico yesterday. Gladiator. And any paper that picks a plug like that can't stop anything going anywhere. Goodbye, Mr... Uh, Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Goodbye, Miss... Don't tell me. Van Astor. Right.
Oh, Bella, show Mr. Uh, Johnson out, please. Our, uh, are horses the only things that your mistress ever thinks of? Yes, sir. Horses, horses, and more horses. I see. Well, I'm glad to see that the stables are not the only place that she keeps decent fillets in. Would you like to go now, sir? Anywhere with you, my dear. Here, take this. Put it beside your typewriter. It'll brighten your morning. Typewriter? Yes. But I have no typewriter. I'm a chambermaid, sir. Oh. Well, put it beside whatever it is that you work with. I read it all, too. No divorces, no nothing. Indeed. Well, I'm going to dress now. I'm going out to yeah. Oh, I forgot, Mrs. Murphy. Thursday's your night out, isn't it? Yeah. And Timothy, that's my second son by my first husband, you know, is going to take me to the circus. Yes, well, that's right, Mrs. Murphy. You stick to circuses. They're elementary, but not so bad. Ella what? Elementary. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's why I'm going. Yes. Of yours. What, my best, Janelle? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me see. Splendid. You know, I call that a real patriotic gesture. I certainly shall send something to start the ball rolling. I think you'd buy it if you had the money. <laughs> I certainly should. Well, I'm getting reconciled to settling down and becoming an old spinster, surrounded by musty relics. You'll marry someday, and probably live in a terrible brick and plaster apartment, surrounded by push knobs and radio sets. I'd like to know where I'm going to meet my husband, an antique shop, I suppose. Who knows? Your Prince Charming may be waiting on the doorstep for you at this very moment. Well, that's very beautiful and romantic, but I'm afraid highly impossible. There you are. That's the organ grinder. I think I'll send him further down the street. Oh, here, wait a moment. Give him that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were him. Oh, Gloria. What? A dream. Aren't you feeling well? I'll never be the same man again. May I, may I convey your kind donation to our friend? Just a second. Play something sweet and sentimental. Si, si, senor. What'd you do that for? The moon, music, and love. I often feel this way. You uh, did not, didn't you? Oh, yes. Yes, you see, I'm with the Asterville Clarion. Sorry, we don't want any newspapers tonight. Oh, no, no, you don't understand. I'm not selling the paper. They're selling me. Oh, yes, I am the uh, leading loudest noise in journaldom. How do you do? I, uh, does uh, Mr. Randleby live here? My father? Yes, he lives here. Is he expecting you? Oh, yes. Well, uh, just a moment, and I'll come and open the door for the uh, leading loudest noise in general, Dunn. Oh, play a, a dreamy walk. Our dance, I believe. No, you're absolutely dead. Oh, yes, I know it.
well. I seem to be somewhat of a prophet. Oh, Nothing Father, this is the gentleman from the Clarion. Oh. Young man, is this your usual method of approach? Well, only on red-letter days and holidays. <laughs> <laughs> this is my father, Mr. Reynolds. How do you do? Uh, Tim Wilson, at your service. Birthday in September, I suggest a half dozen handkerchiefs. <laughs> with T.W. embroidered in the corner? Uh, and two hearts with a connecting arrow. Uh, pardon me if I intrude, but I think Mr. Wilson has come to see me on business. Oh, yes, of course. I'll leave you two alone. Oh, no, no, no. Please, don't. Uh, sit down. Oh, yes. Sit down while we uh, transact our heavy business. <laughs> Young man, I'm glad you've come to see me. I'll give your paper every support. Thank you very much. Father will now gird on his armor and make a call. Ah, <laughs> behold in me, the 1933 Crusader. Oh, oh, my boy, that goblet. Be careful. Oh, you might have broken it. Oh, oh and this is priceless. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my heart almost did... stopped beating. Oh, dear me. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That's not I quite so priceless. Right, that's good. By the way, I suppose you've seen the painting. Uh, yes, yes, I saw it yesterday. Then you can understand my enthusiasm. Oh, I certainly can. Yes. Well, I, uh, I see you've fallen under her spell. Oh, absolutely. Ah, uh, that figure. Oh, marvelous. I'm glad to meet one young man at least who can appreciate a masterpiece. Oh, a masterpiece. Oh, yes, yes, I see your point. I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Uh, I have prepared a short and concise history of the picture for you. Oh. There it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, here's an idea. Why don't you go to Miss Van Aster, plead with her, imagine the old savant begging her not to let the picture leave the country. Why, it'll arouse the sympathy of the entire nation. And what a human interest story. I see your point, and it appeals to me. I'll go personally to her. Oh. I know her well, and I'll beg her not to do this thing. That a boy! I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <laughs> well, I'm very glad to have met you, sir. Right. I hope to see a lot more of you. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Wilson. Uh, you know the way out. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, no. No, I'm afraid I don't. I'll show you. Thank you. Good night. Like you. Now I don't know. I'm almost sorry you came here. Oh, Miss Randleby. Not for the world would I do anything to cause your father any trouble. I'll see that that picture doesn't leave here. I promise. Good night. Good night. Sir, but there's a burglar in the house. I beg your pardon. I saw him climb over your back fence. Well, I'm sorry, but Mrs. Murphy's out. She attends to all such things, bills, burglaries, and so forth. Uh, well, you'd better let me look around. Yes, yes, certainly, certainly. Dear me, a, a burglar? Why, why, you must have him turned out at once. He, he might break something. Have you anything valuable in the house? Well, that's the kitchen. There isn't anything very valuable in there, but the house is full of valuable things, mostly curios. Surely burglars aren't interested in curios. Well, you can never tell about a burglar. I wouldn't trust a burglar with anything. Well, this is the living room. Perhaps we'd better look in here first. Oh, my goblet. I, I, yeah, I, uh, back, uh, yeah, yeah. 
I, uh, you see, uh, boss, I finished all the rest of the silverware, you know, just like you told me, and now I, I've been working on this, uh, goblet, you know, and the sudden, the, the policeman sort of startled me, you know, I, I'm so nervous, I, I'm afraid I'm about to drop oh, it, you uh, know. Oh, now, please uh, put it down, James. You know how precious it is, please. Say, if that's not the man I saw climbing over the wall, where is he? Say, give it to me at once, James. Uh, am I to infer there's a, a burglar in the house? Oh, I, I don't like that, you know. This is confidential, but I was marked with a burglar once. Good heavens! Go and find that policeman, quick. Go and find the burglar, or he'll drop that in a minute if you don't. J say, maybe maybe you got the wrong burglar. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, maybe you have the wrong house. Or uh, 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 maybe I'm wrong. You know, that could happen, you know. That's well, the... I'll take a look around, but I'll be back. Say, who's this young lady? Oh, my daughter. Yes, our daughter. What's wrong here? Oh, it's all right, Margaret. It's all right. There's been a burglar around, that's all. And he, uh, he frightened James. Yeah. James? Well, there's no need to get alarmed, miss. I'll soon have my hands on him. Say, is that the way to the back garden? Yes, yes, I'll show you. Yes, show him, dear. Say, you know, that was mighty decent of you. You know that, don't you? You know what? You could have sent me to jail if you had a wanted to. I wasn't thinking of you. My motives were purely selfish. Well, now, listen here. From now on, you don't have to worry. Your valuables are all safe. And I'll see that no other burglar in the union bothers you. Understand? You know, I'm the president of the burglar union. Oh, well, that's very good of you, oh, I'm sure. Certainly. I didn't tell you, did I? No. Uh, here, and another thing. I, I want to give you my address, you know. Here's my address. Now, any time that you want any high-class burglary done, just get in touch with me. No job too small, none too large for us to handle. That's she the name, Joe Smiley. They call me Slippery Joe. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Don't miss it. Well, guess I'll be gone. Now, Father, what is all this? No, no, it's, it's all right, my dear. My friend, Mr. Smiley, called on me, and the policeman thought he was a burglar. Yeah. <laughs> Social error, you know, social error. Can you imagine taking me for a burglar? <laughs> well, silly, I don't... Silly, silly, I don't know your friend, and he certainly looks like a burglar to me. Now, see, there's where you're wrong. You can never tell a book by its publisher. Yes, now, Always now, 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 don't be absurd, dear. You go to bed. I assure you everything's quite all right. You covered that up great, Pop. You covered it up great. The coast seems to be clear. Thanks. Thank you for calling. Oh, don't mention it. Now, don't forget my address. You know, any time you want any safe crack, just give me a ring. Yes. Okay? Yes. Fine. Oh, uh, if you should hear of any old silver, you might... Uh... Oh, but no, no, of course not. That wouldn't do at all, would it? Well, <laughs> thanks again. Yes. Good night. Good night. Can't find a place for him anywhere. It's a mystery to me. Well, burglars are very mysterious, I believe. Huh? Say, do you mind if I look upstairs? My daughter's already looked. There's nobody in the house. Well, I'll have to make out a report. I'll keep an eye on the back of the house. That burglar can't be far away. Well, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. If there's been a burglar around here, you'll see it in the morning papers. Oh, yeah, sure. What? Good night. Good night. Morning, Tim. Morning, Chief. Cigarette? Uh oh. What's the matter, kid? Chief, I've stumbled on one of the greatest discoveries of life. Well, come on, let's hear it. I have found out that Mother was right. Uh, where's the Van Astor story? Everything's all set. That slant of yours about old Renderby, interviewing Miss Van Astor in person, I got it all laid out. But you better verify it before it goes to press. I have. He's doing his stuff now. Good. You know, I'm inclined to think this young new newspaper man is using you just to get a sentimental angle into his story. Oh, I can hardly believe that. Anyway, I at least am sincere. All this song and dance over a picture that I'm going to sell eventually, anyway. Why can't they leave me alone? I'd hope to appeal to you, but I'm afraid our tastes are very dissimilar. Art doesn't appeal to you, does it? 
No. And horses don't appeal to you, do they? No. They're very picturesque, but I admit that I've never had any inclination to ride one. Ah, well, that accounts for it. If you'd only ridden a horse, if you'd only once ridden a horse. <coughs> that cost bad. Let me give you one of these. No, 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 please. I never take anything stronger than wine. There you are again, you see. <coughs> Always living in the past. You know what you need? You need a good stiff day out of the hound. <coughs> ah, Fishkin. What is it, Fishkin? The groom's cobblins, madam, and he says Molly is belching much better. Good. He also expects Queen Bess to have a, <coughs> a blessed event any moment. Queen Bess? Queen Bess? Tell him to hold everything till I come. Yes, madam. Oh, Mr. Rendleby, please excuse me, but don't go. Stay here, make yourself at home, look at the picture, and Fishkins will take care of you, but I must leave. You see, a horse is a horse. Yes, and a Vestrinelli is only a painting, I suppose. To me, that's all it is, just a painting. Oh, one moment. Come here. Look at this painting more closely. Do you perceive no beauty, no thrill? I've seldom seen a more clumsily proportioned female in my life. Clumsy? Well, look at her fetlocks, compare them to her hock. Fetlocks? And look at her feet. Far too big. Are you criticizing the seat of the Ascadil Venus? I can't help it. It just hits me in the eye. No, oh, dear lady. Let an old man take what you call the blinkers off those eyes of yours. Look at this painting again. Don't you see beautiful, fragrant womanhood created for love? And that smile, tender yet eager, awaiting the eternal lover. Don't you feel the rapture that a dozen poets have felt on seeing her? the glamour of her beautiful warm flesh, the fearlessness of those deep eyes, every tone, every curve, speaking for all time of love, youth, joy, romance. Pity you don't ride a horse. No, I'm sorry. My mind's made up. The Venus must go. Oh, but madam, I have... Pardon. Pardon, madam, pardon. The groom's compliments again, and he says, will you, will you please have it? Queen Bess, Queen Bess has just had a beautiful little daughter. What? Oh. Yes, madam. This is the Holy of Holies. The way you make up all the stories, hmm? Oh, no, no. You you haven't got it straight at all. We never tell any stories here. Oh, I see. Well, I seem to have caused some excitement among the girls out there. Well, to uh, tell you the truth, I used to sort of uh, fool around a little, but... Oh. That's, that's all different now. Oh, please, be careful. Oh, no, let's don't be careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's all this? <clears throat> a little speck of dirt there. That's got Thank it. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Knowing how interested you are in my happiness, I want you to meet Miss Rendleby, who is going to be my wife. Oh, how do you do, Miss Rendleby? How do you do? Mm. <laughs> With so many decent men in the world, I'm damned if I know why you picked him. Yeah. What is our opinion against so many? <laughs> I haven't picked him yet. <laughs> oh, but you will. Yes, I had my fortune told in a teacup, and there was a tea leaf stuck on me, and it looked exactly like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Excuse well, uh, me, Miss Renderby, for bringing in business. Yes, of course. Uh, Tim, yes. this little stunt of ours is coming along great. Oh, it's you, Chief. I just heard from Trevor's. Miss Van Aster has sold the painting to Hugo Tannenberg for $100,000. Oh, boy, what a sizzle. Pardon <laughs> me. Did you say that man from Holland bought the picture after all? Yes, Miss Renderby, but of course your father's handsome gift towards buying it will be returned to him naturally. Good afternoon. Margaret, where are you going? Mr. Wilson, I wish I'd never met you. Margaret, please. Does it occur to you, Mr. Wilson, how much you and your paper can hurt my father? Oh, don't worry about your father. Look here. There's nothing more to be said.
thought you were with Mrs. Murphy. Well, I had to come in and see how you were. I want to be alone, dear. I want to think. Don't you think you'd better try and forget about it? I can't forget. I can't forget. You don't suppose for one moment that I'm going to give up? Well, you've already tried to see Mr. Tannenberg, and he refuses to meet you. Well, there must be other ways than means.
Good evening. Good evening, Miss Murphy. Is, uh, is Miss Margaret home? Oh, oh, Mr. Wilson. She told me to tell you she's not home. Oh. Well, I, uh... I, I told her it would break your heart, but she, she said no, like she meant it. I see. Well, I'll... Would you take these flowers? And, and when she isn't there, just, just put them in her room. And, uh, and tell her that... No. No, don't tell her. Just, just let her think that, that, well, Over here at the dining room in the sun parlor. I yeah. showed them to you only I'm afraid Mrs. Van Aster might come oh, back. Oh, that's all she... right. I'm not interested in those rooms over there. No. This is the room that I'm mostly interested in. You know, it's beautiful. Yeah. I, uh, think we'd better get to the servants' quarters. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So... Okay. Oh! There's one the burglar alarms I was telling you about. What's this? Huh. You call that a burglar alarm? Why? My boss has better burglar alarms than that that he never uses. Positive. Now, that burglar alarm is what I would say old-fashioned. Antique. Yes, sir. Out of date. Look at them. It's all right. You do know a lot about them, don't you? Do I know a lot? <laughs> well, I say, those things have caused me no end of worry. No end of it. Uh, kiss me. Uh, uh, what made you think of that? Oh, I don't know. Something just... Over me. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it's a billiard attack you got it. I can't help it. Say, is this the main wire running up here? No. No? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Well, make up your mind. I'm going to know her. Talk to me. I just, oh, I see. Hmm. That's the attitude, is it? You want a neck. Okay. Glorious gobble. Hold your breath and count 90. Okay, pal. Oh, okay. okay. I got... Say, why did you bring the umbrella? Why? It's not raining? No, but it often does. It does. <laughs> you got me there. Hey, I got the whole way out of the house. I even know where the burglar alarms are. <laughs> the maid's even got a crush on me. What do you think of that? Now, all we got to do is hang around for about, I'll say, about five minutes here, and we can go right up. Hey, well, what's the idea of the three watches? Oh, I always carry three. Tell the time with. I'll explain it to you. You see, uh, this watch over here, well, that runs five minutes fast every four hours. Yes. This runs four minutes slow every three hours. Yes. The one in the middle is broke. And a very peculiar thing, it stops exactly at two o'clock. Yes, but, but how do you tell time? That's the question I've been waiting for you to ask me. I take this watch over here that runs five minutes slow every four hours. I multiply it by the one that runs six minutes fast every three hours. Then I divide that by the one in the middle, which is two. Yes, but what time is it now? Why, it's uh, quarter after twelve. Exactly. I think we can go now. trying to open that door? No. I was just trying to give a leopard a banjo lesson. Well, now, you know, that interests me. Have you got a leopard that plays the banjo? No, but I got one spotted. Certainly I was trying to open the door. I, uh... <laughs> Man's got a college education. Don't you realize? 
realize that we're burglars? Don't you realize that we're here without an invitation? Yes. And we're here to take something away with us that don't belong to us? Yes. And in this country, that's a crime? And crime does not pay. Don't you ever listen to the radio? Never, I suppose. Look, that's the picture. Oh, yeah? Come on up! Oh! Fingerprints. Never leave fingerprints. That's the worst thing you can leave is a fingerprint. Any part of the place, don't put your head, see? That's why I wear gloves. Protection. An ounce of prevention is... The uh, gal is no more. Did you ever hear that? This is a, no more. Is it pay? No more. Well, I admire your taste, Sammy. So this is a picture, huh? That's a picture. What are you going to do, make a jigsaw puzzle out of it? What's a jigsaw puzzle? A jigsaw puzzle? Never mind. Never mind. I'll have to have a ladder. It's rather high. Oh, well, that's easy enough, Gordon. Huh? Yeah, see? Uh, oh. I object to this horse play. How can you play horse with a jackass? Well, if they didn't hear that, they all went to bed drunk. I thought you said you wanted a ladder. So I, I did. Well, I, I asked for... To get one. Yeah, I asked for a ladder. You're calling out the whole fire department. I... Here, sit down, sit down. I'm going to change my attitude with you. I gotta work different, I see that. Here, mm -hmm. read this for a while. Take a load off your mind. Second paragraph, Pilgrim's Prophet. I told you, if you had another brain, you'd have one. Don't you know you gotta be quiet? Absolutely quiet. Yeah, I suppose so. Hot pass of mine, don't mind. A cigarette? I don't smoke. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ah. No stealing. No stealing. Isn't that? Souvenir? No, 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 no. We have visitors here, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, now. Now be careful and cut close to the frame. Uh, cut close to the what? To the frame. Don't do that, all right. Don't worry about me. Keep your foot on the bottom of the chair. Yes, sir. Remember, my life's at stake here. Not very straight, but it'll be all right. After all, I'm not an architect. So that's not. Sergeant. Tell me, uh, 
Tell me about this new sweetheart of yours, young lady. Oh, he, he's the nicest young man. Yes, well, nice young men don't ask questions about burglar alarms, you know. He said he studied it for years. Yeah, I'll bet he has. What did he look like? Well, he was tall and thin and had the prettiest little black eyes. Oh. And wore big glasses without any rims in them. Oh, my. It sounds very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, uh, what's his name? He called himself Joe. Joe. Joe Smiley. Here. Here, take this. Buy yourself something. What shall I buy? <laughs> well, don't bother. Uh, go to a picture. A picture? A picture. I will now examine all the evidence I gathered and inform you later of my conclusion. Good day, madame. You will keep me informed, won't you? Let me know everything. Leave it to me. Thank you. Oh, just a minute. I want to speak to you. Don't bother me. I'm busy. But, Captain, I, uh... What is it, pal? Well, I, uh... I've got some information about this burglary. Don't tell me. I'll find out. Oh. Well, I just want to tell you who did it, that's all. Uh, uh, just a moment, pal. Tell me. Who pinched the picture? Well, I, uh... I just had a talk with Bella. Bella? Yeah, the chambermaid. Chambermaid? Yeah, very nice, too. Yeah? Yeah. Has a beautiful... You don't say so. Oh, yeah. She told me that Joe Smiley was here last night. Joe Smiley? Yeah. I know him. Yes, most of the cops do. See? Yeah. He's been making love to Bella. You just wait. Yeah. And then you put two and two together. Two and two together? Makes five. Makes five. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Pip, 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 pip. Two and two make five. These reporters don't know how to count. However, I'll call up headquarters about Joe Smiley. Hello. Give me toodaloo, toodaloo, pip, 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 pip. Toodaloo, pip, pip. I'll call up from outside. Seen Joe Smiley around here lately? Smiling? Come on, come Smiley? on! Don't stall me. You know who I mean. Oh, you mean the little uh, short guy? Yes, yes. What did you say, last? Well, it's almost a week ago. Oh, come on! Give me a drink. Introduction. I shut up, you, shut up and listen to me. Did anybody follow you here? Listen, if anybody follows me, they're lost. You're better to suit up. Pal. Pal. The cops. Now what? Caught at last. Here goes my professional pride. 
Asterville should reward me with a banquet. Yeah, Asterville should reward me with five years in jail. Say, whose house is this? Well, why should I tell you? That's why. That's different. It's pretty. Now whose house is it? M Mr. Randleby's. Well, is Mr. Randleby in? Well, I, I don't know. I'll ask him. Did you, did you want to speak with me? Well, if it wouldn't hurt too much. <laughs> oh, no, it won't hurt much. Are you all come? Yes. 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 Kill them in. What? No, 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 no. Don't let them in. Stall them. Stall them. Stall them. Oh, I'm going into conference. Oh, 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 my, that's really. Oh, Father, come to your senses. They'll take it if we don't hide it. Why? You'll have to wait a little while. Why? Well. Come on, come on. Well. They, they told me to stall you. Oh, yeah? How are you? Hello. You just saw a notorious burglar come in here. Oh, you're trying to be funny. What would we want from the burglar? Yeah, we don't want any burglars tonight, thank you. Good night. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't mind if we look around, do you? Oh, please do. Look around. Yeah, sure. Help yourself. Finally, <laughs> take a look up. Oh, my Venus! Uh, what? Oh, he always calls his carpet his Venus. I mean, it's silly. and there's no sense to it. <laughs> you want to see Venus? I don't know, but I'm standing on it. Yeah, well, aren't we all? Did <laughs> <laughs> you get it? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. There's something phony here. I'm going to look around. Oh, you're hot. Very hot. That thing was heavy, you know. I, uh, the, you, your face is very familiar. Joe Smiley, huh? What a break. Oh, so you two boys know each other. Oh, that gentleman is a friend of mine. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Why all the sarcasm? Why all the sarcasm? I, I haven't done anything. Of course he hasn't. I was there. Of course he hasn't. Say, so this looks pretty funny to me. A burglar comes in here and hides. I'm going to ask you a few questions. No, 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 don't ask him any questions. He tells lies. Ask me. I'm a newspaper man. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. And you? Uh, would you mind getting off the... Uh, carpet, uh, uh, carpet. Uh, he never can say carpet. <laughs> okay, Riley, take care of this. Oh. Tough guy, eh? Don't drop it, Riley. So you say this man is a friend of yours, huh? Well, you've been seeing quite a lot of this guy lately, haven't you? And why not? I don't see... Oh, would you mind getting off that... Yeah, it's much nicer over there. Please. What's going on here? Sir, there's something phony about this, and it's all over my head. Yeah, it's too bad it don't drop on Get him. Up, Riley, take that guy out and lock him up. Come hey, on. Now, wait a minute. I don't know anything about this entire situation. You know that? You haven't got anything on me. Besides, I've got a previous appointment. Yeah, well, there's six or seven things we want to talk to you about before you can go home. I'll fix it. Okay. Riley, take him away. Come on, get out of here. Come on, folks, get ready. We'll get down to the station house and straighten this thing up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. I'm on the clarion. Oh, yeah? Well, if you've got anything to say, tell it to the captain. Hey, look what I found here. My painting, please be careful. It's a veterinary. 
No wonder he's excited. He's guilty as hell. Guilty, I ask you. Look at him. Doesn't he look the picture of innocence? Well, on second thought, you'd better look at me. I must warn you that anything you say now is liable to be used in evidence against you. Come on, let's get out of the station. Wait a minute. How do you know that that's the picture you're looking for? Because this is the photo, wise guy, and it looks like it. Yes, well, if you don't want to make fools of yourselves, you'd better let me phone first. Why don't you reporters mind your own business? Well, sometimes it's a good thing for you cops that we don't. And if you don't want to see your picture all over the front page of my paper, you'd better let me phone. Well, all right. Make it snappy. Right. Hello. City, 1750. If I were you, miss, I'd pack a few of your father's things together. I think he's going to be away for a while. Gentlemen, I have phoned Mr. Tannenberg, the owner of the painting. And if that is the stolen picture, he'll identify it beyond the shadow of a doubt. But what does he want to do it here for? What, what do you think station houses are built for, anyhow? Why, for a gentleman like you to play poker in, of course. <laughs> Just a wise guy. Now, why don't you make yourselves at home? He'll be here directly. Margaret, get the gentleman a bottle of beer and a cigar. Go ahead, sit down. Well, we might as well, I suppose. Certainly. Relax while you have a chance. Mm -hmm. You don't get a chance like this very often, you know. <laughs> He's gone already? Good. Fine work, Brownie. Keep opening a couple of columns on page one. This story will break any minute now. Right. Pardon. But Mr. Wilson sent for me. All right. All right, Mr. Murphy. Tell him that that picture in there is a fake. Yeah, but, uh... A fake! All right. Gentlemen, here is Herr Tannenberg in person. Hello, folks. Ah, I fooled you this time. Mother, be quiet. Yes, Father, be quiet. We want you to identify this painting, Herr Tannenberg. Ja, mein Glad. Oh, he's up. Well, first I will look at the picture, and then I will tell you. You work very fast, you policeman. Hmm? Say nothing about it. Smart voice you are. I didn't expect to get the picture soon. We know our business. Now, let me see it now. Hmm? Just the one? Now, wait. No, no, that's not my painting. What? You sure that's not oh, the one? Oh, Himmel, that's a fake. I tell you, that's a fake. You don't think that I, Herr Tannenberg, would spend $100,000 for a fake like that? Sir, I tell you, you're an idiot. That's not a fake. Father, please. Go to him, Himmel. What good is that? He thinks that he knows something about painting. What? I think I know something about painting. Oh, well, I'm sorry, boys, but this is not a stolen painting. No, 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 you couldn't handle me that. I wouldn't take it. You go out and find the right one, yeah? Well, I guess so. You never have. Everybody in Amsterdam knows my father. Only a stupid detective like you would ever suspect him. Well, that's that. Uh, now hurry up and find the right one, yeah? Ah, uh, shut up. Thanks, kid. Hey, what kind of a gag is this, Tim? You know that's the right way, Spinelli. Yes, the boss will explain everything. Tell him I'll get him on the wire soon. Well, all right, then. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye -bye. Thank you, Mr. Tannenberg, for all you've done. Ah, uh, don't thank me. Thank him. Oh. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Jan Kipper, Tannenbaum. Yeah. What does he mean, thank you? I told you that everything is going to be all right. Tannenberg works for our paper. It was just a, a build-up for the story. Well, what about Miss Van Asta? What? The paper bought the picture yesterday, but not for any hundred thousand bucks. Don't be silly, no. It was all a publicity stunt. Sure. Mr. Randleby, hey. when this blows over, we'll have the picture mysteriously appear, and you can present it to the library. My boy, that'll be the proudest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for all you've done. Oh, don't thank me. Thank my... <clears throat> that is, uh, your... I mean... Our, well, what I'm trying to say, Dad, okay. is... <laughs> Can I use our phone? <laughs> <laughs> certainly, my boy, certainly. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. City 1750. Uh, T, 
Tim, I've been trying to tell you something for the last five minutes. Won't you listen, please? Why, my darling, you can tell me anything. You know that. What is it, darling? Well, I... Uh, oh, pardon me, dear. Hello, this is Tim Wilson. Will you give me the desk, please? Tim, is that you? Oh, my darling. I've loved you from the first moment that I saw you. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. You're much sweeter. Really, you are. Is that you, Wilson? Wilson! Tim! I assume you. Darling, will you, will you hold this a minute? Yes. You're fired. Do you hear me? You're fired. You're... 